You see, it started the summer I got my granddaughter. I had been praying and asking God to protect me, because I know he always watches over children and fools. So parents, no matter where your children are, just keep on praying and standing strong, because he always sent them home. Didn't mean I love you, I love you. Hey, let me explain. Girl, throw that shoe back at him. Now that's my daughter, May May. Always looking for love in all the wrong places. What make a beautiful girl like yourself so sad, so? It's not what. It's who. Uh, you wouldn't understand. You're a man. <laughs> a man, huh? Well, this man of a name, Ronaldo. Come, talk to me, darling. You never know. You just might be surprised. Ronaldo? Young yeah, one. What, you from Jamaica? No, I'm from Brooklyn. I was just talking that accent so I get you to laugh. See, <laughs> <laughs> <And> it worked. <laughs> Beautiful smile. Listen, I'll buy you a drink. Okay. After you. Sure, I'll wear my little waitress outfit. I can't wait to take your order. <laughs> no prop. I can pick up some food on the way. Yeah, black and mild. Oh yeah, that too. You know I won't forget that. Because we cannot afford another child. I know she's not your daughter. I just meant... Okay. Well, I'm getting dressed right now. Okay. Love you. Okay, and now who's gonna go first? There's nothing ever in this house. Hello? Hey, you want to come over and watch TV with me? I can't right now. My mom just got done fixing my 
favorite dinner. Turkey chops, mashed potatoes. She even taught me how to cook cornbread. That sounds good. You wanna come over and try my cornbread? I mean, <laughs> if your mama don't mind me coming over your house again, girl. Mama, you don't mind, do you? Then you know Niecy's welcome to come over anytime. Tiffany, come on, time for dinner. Is she coming here again? Tiffany? Come on and get at the table. You still there? Wow, folks, that's awesome. I told you she said I didn't mind. Thanks, Danny. Hello? Hello? Nisi? Coming home late seems to be second nature to my daughter, May May. Must be in her DNA that's on her daddy, Walter Lee's side of the family. Ronaldo. Ronaldo, Ronaldo. Mm, mm, mm. Forget Scotty. Forget Tyler. As a matter of fact, forget Cedric. None of them know what they're missing. Cedric. Hmm. Cedric, who is more like it? Hmm, Ronaldo. Nisi? Nisi? Who is it? It's Elizabeth. Have you seen Nisi? She was here when I got home from work and now she's gone. Do you know where she is? Please, lower your voice and calm it down. She's here. Why, is she sick? No, she's not sick. She was hungry. The girls were watching a movie all night and they fell asleep on the couch. Well, you should have just sent her on home because I was worried. Worried? If you were worried, you would have come home from work. The diner closes at 11 o'clock. It is 3 a.m. in the morning. What I do with my time is my business. Well, it's my business, too. If your child's coming over to my house and she's hungry, I'm going to report it to the Child Protective Services and make it their business. Mama. What's going on? Girl, nothing. I was worried out of my mind. Let's go. Thank you, Miss Betty. Bye, Nisi. See you tomorrow. Let's go. Mama, I can't see my clothes. Open your eyes. My eyes are open. Then turn on the light. Uh, maybe the bulb is out. OK, let me get up. Mama, hurry up. I don't want to be late for school. OK, OK. Turn on that bathroom light so I can see in this closet. This one's not working either. <sighs> the power must be off. Not again. What am I going to do? At least we don't have to worry about the food spoiling this time. Why, is the refrigerator working? No, we don't have any food. Oh, you got jokes. Girl, go in there and get them candles so I can see in this closet. And I need to get dressed too and I can find some money so we can get this power bill on. Why doesn't Scotty help you pay the bills? Doesn't he love you? It's Ronaldo and it's complicated. What do you think about staying at your grandma Ola May's for a little while? No, I don't like it there. Well, it's either that or Miss Betty is bound to turn me into defects. Well, I don't want to leave my friends just because you don't know how to be a good mother. <clears throat> don't you ever speak to me like that again. Look at me. I am your mother. And however little you think of me, 
I am all you got. After that slap, it wasn't long before Nettie Mae was on the bus to see her grandma Ola Mae. Now that's me. And it wasn't a moment too soon. He ordered me a soda while I run to the bathroom and don't be talking no stranger. Hey. Hey. Hey, don't I know you from somewhere? Uh, no. Remember me first grade Miss Honeycutt's class? Uh, I, I really don't remember. Remember me now? <sighs> Shelly Mae Palmer! Yeah, not so loud. I go by Shelly now. Oh, okay. Oh, come on, Shelly, you gotta go watch football. He really gets on my nerves. See? <laughs> I'm leaving. Unless you want to introduce me to your friend. Uh, I gotta go. Okay. You still live in the same place, right? I live with my grandma now. Okay, see you later. All right, bye. Hey, how are you? Good. What uh, can I get for you? Um, can I get some, uh, a soda and um, an iced tea? Small, medium, large. Small used to be medium. Medium used to be the large. Uh, I'll just go large. Okay. <laughs> you must be new around here. I don't think I've ever seen you before. Tell me this. Is that your grandmother? Yeah. $3.22. Oh, my, my grandma has it. Don't worry about it. It's on the house. On the house? It means it's free. Oh, thank you. So what's your name? Uh, Nettie May. I mean, Nisi. Nisi. OK, Miss Nisi. You have a happy Mother's Day. Thank you. Well, how much is it? Oh, um, I don't know. Oh, you, you mean the drinks. What else would I be talking about? Oh, nothing. Well, how much is it? Some man paid for it. Child, don't you come down here starting it with some grown man. You got plenty of time for that after I teach you a lesson. You hear me? Yes, Grandma. That's what got your mama messed up. Messing around with these good for nothing boys. Get out drink. Would you shit. believe that May May sent this child with one pair of flip flops and a dress that Granny, is torn and short up. enough to fit on a five year old child? But that's all right, <laughs> cause I got a nap. Your mama got bad judgment, but I've been praying and asking the Lord to send her a good man that'll treat her right. Not like your granddaddy Walter Lee. He hop house to house chasing young women. But I got a mind to send Big Luther after. Who's Big Luther? That's Mama's shotgun. <laughs> Grandma! <laughs> Woo! Please forgive me, Jesus. God, I know you said I ought to forgive 70 times 7, but that's a whole lot of adding to do. And you know I ain't never been good at math. <laughs> but, <laughs> Hallelujah in the <laughs> Grandma, did you know my dad? Child, I wouldn't know your dad if he rolled up on my front porch. I can't see nothing from my front porch anyhow. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's just not fair. Just because he and my mom didn't work out doesn't mean I can't see him. Why can't I have a normal family? Well, child, that was the good old days. Today, a family all put together? Now that ain't normal. It should be, but it ain't. But you know what? He is a prayer answering God. He always answers mother's prayers. He answers yours too. Hey, hey, come on and tie my tie. Grandma, come on and ride my honey. Grandma, hey, hey. grandma, hey, come on, grandma. Be shit, be shit, but I want a Lexus. Hey, hey. Grandma, come on. Hey, hey. Grandma, hey, grandma. Walter Lee ain't never been much of a daddy to me. 
or any of his kids, as a matter of fact. But every child needs a father. And I hope for Nettie's sake, her father comes around one day. <laughs> oh, come on here, girl, and help your grandma on the step the stairs. You know I'm getting old. Come on here, child. Okay. Ooh. 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 I gotta take my breath. One for the father. <laughs> Two for the son. <laughs> Three for the Holy Ghost. Hey, 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 mama, hey, hey, mama, mama. Woo, hey, 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 hey. Woo, hey, hey, woo. Thank you, Jesus. Woo, bless your name, Jesus. Woo. Let us sit down on this here porch for a minute. Now that I got my workout, we gonna be sitting here for it all day. Woo. Here, go on, take my tamarind and my Bible and my pocketbook. Take my hat inside. Hmm. And take my shoes and get my slippers from out the house. Okay, Grandma. But uh, it's hot out here, so I'm gonna change too. First lesson for my granddaughter wasn't hard to figure out. You see, in the country, we don't go for too much advertisement. We train our girls to be proper young women's. The kind men's is want to marry. Now, I'm only going to show you this here one time. We going to tuck and we going to roll. Grandma, why do we have to walk home? Child, sometimes it's good to take our time and be in the presence of the Lord. <laughs> See, God ain't never through with us. His spirit still moves. And see, that's the problem. You young folks nowadays are so impatient. Oh, I thought it was because Uncle Jimmy's car you borrowed got repossessed during the service. That's what I heard. Whoa, girl! Don't you talk about my brother Jimmy. That boy is ignorant. He ain't none of my mama child. We need to do a DNA test on him because I'm convinced of it. Now look what you done did. You done went and got my pressures up and pull me out the spirit, and I just left church. But you know what they say. Itch your knees and loose lips leave for an unhappy child and a soul behind. Yeah, I think you gonna have to scoot a little closer to me in case I got to reach out and touch you. Mm-hmm. Back in my day when I was your age, we didn't do all that back talking you children do nowadays. Mm -mm. See? Back in the day, our parents had two best friends. It was the bell and the switch. And when that wasn't available, a good old swift kick in the behind always done the trick. Kids just want to have fun. Parents act like they forgot when they were kids. No, girl, we ain't forgot when we was children. See, we knew how to raise our kids. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. See, back in the day, kids went outside and they played. And they didn't have too many times to come in. Only twice, because on that third time, they was going to be in there taking a nap or doing some chores. Oh, yeah? Prove it. <laughs> oh. <sighs> you coming? I told you I would. <sighs> OK. You can turn the water faucet on. <laughs> This water shouldn't have hit the spot. Oh, I have some. I thought you never asked. <laughs> <laughs> Billy! Mom! Mom! Billy! Mom! 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 Girl, didn't I tell you the next time you came to this house I was going to give you something to do? But Mama Billy. Ah, Billy, something nothing. And what are you doing wet? But I was trying to tell you, Billy. Uh-uh, I don't want to hear that. Go in the kitchen and refill my glass. Yes, Mama. And while you in there, get the broom and sweep the front porch. Mama. With your fast self, messing with them boys. With your fast tail. 
And I'm going to tell you, we only had one TV. And that one TV had three channels. Three, six, and twelve. And that was if you was able to watch TV at all. Lord, look at here. Hey, get him, help me swell on this here poach. Go. Hey, hey, hey. Ooh. How you doing? How you doing? Girl, I'm good. You too, baby. How you doing, Ma? Doing good. Oh, stop pushing on me. Martha, what's wrong with you? You look worn out. Girl, them children about woke me plumb out. You babysitting again? Look like to me she's been fighting. Girl, yeah. I had them children all day. Well, I don't know why you keep agreeing to babysit them children when they put you through all that. I ain't agree to watch no children. Well, Martha, what had happened? Well, I tell you what happened. I got to stand up for this one. On Friday night, see, I stepped out there on the porch, you see, getting ready to go out on my date. Date? Now, y'all know I didn't say nothing about no date. I heard her say date. No, Suella, you just need to adjust your hearing aid. I didn't say date. I said place. See, I got hungry and I fried up some catfish and oats. See, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. See, the Lord told me that you been sneaking around with old Deacon Jesse, hasn't you? Only may I spew that now. Oh. You're talking right at the side of your neck. See, I've been watching him walking around the church eyeballing you. Mm -hmm. Man, ain't nothing but an old bunch of grasshopper. Just burn him. I'm telling you, he ain't nothing but head legs. He need to have his mind on the Lord. Yes. Grandma, can I go get some ice cream? Please. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. Please. Mm -hmm. Please, Grandma, please. Well, I guess so. Let me see what I got here. Come on, oh. uh, look here, Martha. You got something in your cookie jar because mine is empty. Come on, don't worry about it. I got it. Where that girl going? Where she get money from? She ain't got no job. Can I have the strawberry shortcake? Yes, ma'am. It's 125. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. Have a great day. For a ride? No. And how'd you figure out where I live? I really need to talk to you. How about tomorrow? I don't know. Maybe. Who is that that girl out there talking to? What you don't say? Who is? She better get her butt up here now. I gotta go. My grandma's looking. So, uh, bye. Now, Ola 
Charlemagne, you know Deacon Jesse just lonely. Just old and lonely. He's walking upright with the Lord. Just been a long time since he had himself a wife. Anyway, that ain't what we're talking about. Let me finish telling you about these cherries. Who is that man you was out there talking to? I seen you, you think you're slick. Oh, it was just some man asking for directions. Well, anyhow, I got out there on my porch that Friday. And there they were, all five of them, looking up at me, smiling. Each one of them had a big old bag of clothes, smelling just like the great I do. They mama halfway up the street, almost broke the heel off my shoe trying to get. Knocked over ten rose bushes. I must have sprang up out of them things like I was on one of them trampolines. And what Now you know I had to hold them down before I let them in my house. So, go, I mean, pepper dance them kids with them, uh, that, uh, fuck it down. Go on and hold them down. Uh, so. That's right. Get her in her mouth. She got to keep it open. Hush up, because your mama shouldn't have left you here. I bet you didn't catch her, did you? Girl, I didn't catch her to after service today. Girl? Y'all remember that young pastor we had that had them hazel eyes and that good hair? Ooh, child. He knew he could sing the planks off the floor. What was that song he sang? He would open up his mouth and say, Let the church say yeah. 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 Sue Ella. Yeah. Sue Ella. Yes. Now you know you're hurting. Putting your finger up like you invisible. Go on and excuse yourself. Sue Ella. Baby, you know I love you. You know I do. But you know I've been anointed to tell the truth. Go on, give it to me. I see the heaven open up. And I see the Shekinah glory filling the temple. And I see angels sinning and descending. And Jesus is sitting upon his throne. And Suella opened up her mouth. Yeah. And Jesus stopped the yeah. whole party. Yeah. What is this noise? What is this ruckus? Stop. And everything went in reverse. Girl, don't you ever do that again. You sound like one of them old country women. You need to stick to singing solos. Sing solo, we don't hear you. <laughs> Deceiving me, or do I see Deacon Eli Jesse coming up on this here porch? <laughs> Girl, for someone who sure ain't interested, you sure almost threw your back out trying to get up out of that seat. Get up on this here porch, you old dirty rotten scoundrel. <laughs> Good afternoon, sisters. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Afternoon, Deacon Heli. Jessam. Ola May. Martha. <laughs> Sue Smeller. Now, Suella, you know you ain't right. Deacon Jessam came all the way over here to see us. You ought to be a little more hospitable. Well, somebody's lying around here. My grandmama always told me, if it's smelling like fish, 
you best believe something got left out of the icebox or somebody forgot to take a bath. All this sneaking around, winking and stuff. Somebody hiding something. Now, is the food left out on the counter or is somebody left out the tub? You bathed today? Sure did. So extra long <laughs> for my sweetness here. <laughs> Even slapped on some new roots, smelly baby. <laughs> Boy, it smell like you wearing your daddy's old sofa he died on. Suella? <laughs> oh, dig it, dig I see a little hint of jealousy in you now. <laughs> You're trying to steal old Martha's catch. <laughs> Cause she got a good one. <laughs> Don't blame me though, I'm used to it. I was telling good old Reverend Jack the other day, man. I said, Reverend Jack, <laughs> I gotta beat them off me now. <laughs> they all over Deacon. You know, they wanna rub the fingers through my head now. <laughs> Ooh, it's hot. They wanna <laughs> rub my feet. Don't be mad now. <laughs> Don't be mad. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Don't say. Yes, they trying to get all on Dickie. They trying to take my mind off the law when I'm just trying to live holy. Oh, yes, they is. If you stay in a word, the law will see you through. Oh, yes, he will, Reverend Jack. He will see you through. Oh, yeah. Can't hit them notes like you, but I try. Oh, Lordy. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. See me through, Lord. Count this money. These women, they are. See, I told y'all, Deacon is a good man. He's living for the Lord. Ain't nobody jealous of you. Looking like a cigar with some eyes and some feet and a wig pasted on your head. And you smell like one of them things, too. Now, hold on, Suella. Deacon Jesse sound like a man in need. Now, he said he need help from the women. Now, we some women. We some specialists, too. Ain't that what brought you all the way over here, Deacon? <laughs> you right, Ola. <laughs> Old Deacon ready to settle down now. <laughs> Where you gonna settle? In that big boat of a car of yours? Ain't you living with your cockeyed sister anyway? Now, Suella, you ain't right. Why you had to bring this man family in this? You know she can't help being cockeyed. I'm just saying, a man ought to have his own apartment by the time he's 80. Now, I'm not just going to sit here and let y'all disrespect Deacon like that. Well, stand up then. Just left church. Now you're out here before God in nature, acting like backsliding. Martha, sit down and shut up. It's like the older you get, the crazy you sound. Ain't nobody trying to come between you and that man. Oh, Jesus. We just saying, let it all out in the open. 
Cause you acting like a schoolgirl being kissed for the first time. Just smooching and slopping all over the place. Probably explains why old Dick over there always greasing his lips. What you use anyway? Crisco or Vaseline? These lips are anointed. <laughs> they come from the sweet olives from the olive tree in Jerusalem. <laughs> How about using some oil on them elbows? Suella, <laughs> if I was a man of the flesh, <laughs> I'd respond to you. <laughs> but I'm not. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> you deserve to have this day, even you. Because <laughs> you got 10 kids and you was a good mama. You take care of them kids, even if they got five. One, two, three, four, five. Different baby daddies. <laughs> you a lie. All my babies got the same daddy. That ain't no lie now. I'm fixing to beat the devil right out you. Well, bring it on now. I've been Put your head right here, because I'm going to knock it over there. I'm gonna Come on. To the body Put it right there. I'm going to knock it over there. there. Come on. Let's go. Come, Come on. on. This is the main Come event. On, D -K. King Come Kong on. versus Godzilla. Mm. You they. You Come they. On. Come on. Dad, Come Dad, on. Dad, Come on. Dad, Come Dad, on. Dad, Dad, Come on. Stop that. Stop it. Stop it. Check him out. Suella, look at you. You didn't go to set the wrong example for this baby out here. Sit down somewhere. Deep, sit, sit down. down. Sit down. Sit down. Suella, tell me what to do. Deke, sit down. Y'all need to stop all this foolishness. Out on this porch acting like that. What would Pastor say if he come driving past him? Y'all supposed to be setting an example for my granddaughter, and you out here acting like that. Out here acting like a fool. Now, I ain't finna have that out here on this here porch. Older May, you right. Suella, I'm sorry. <laughs> Cause we have to get along for mother's sake. <laughs> you forgive me? Now Suella, the man says sorry. Go on and do the Christian thing. I guess. Well, you know, Martha, <laughs> it being Mother's Day and all. <laughs> Oh, Deacon wrote a song for you. And I think I want to sing it for you right now. <laughs> Go ahead, take a listen. Martha, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Martha, you're so sweet to me. You give me diabetes. <laughs> oh, that's enough. That's enough, though. <laughs> so, I just want to tell you, Happy Mother's Day, sweetness. Oh, thank you, Jesse. <laughs> now, Deacon, what kind of intentions you got for Martha? Because we ain't fixing to be having y'all shacking up. Oh, no, now. You know, good old Diggy Jesse don't shack up now. <laughs> Miss Martha special to me. <laughs> me and Martha, we gonna go and reload. <laughs> reload? Go run away to Vegas and do the little young paper thing, you know? Lord, Deacon, you mean Elo. Same thing, Ola. Just it. Why old yellow gotta keep on barking? I don't know. Don't pay no man. Now, Miss Martha, I understand you're being all cautious and everything. But you gotta understand, Dick and Jesse don't give up too easy now. I'll be chasing you around now. <laughs> oh, yes, I will. <laughs> well, thank you, Jesse. Thanks for the flowers again. Oh, no problem, baby. <laughs> All right, Deke. Well, we're glad you came over here. No problem, old man. All mate. right, now. Oh, and then may go in there and get Deke and some of them cookies in that there kitchen. Why oh, can't he give them I said get up and get the cookies. Yeah. I guess you's all right after all. Now that the devil's out you. Oh, me and you, we gonna have to be friends. 
Cause after me and Martha say I do, <laughs> what you gonna do then? <laughs> but be deep, just a friend. <laughs> oh, I can smell them cookies from here. Oh yeah, give me them cookies, girl. Thank you for these cookies, baby. And you listen to these ladies that be in your life now. These are some blessed women. They can sure help you now. Just listen to what they tell you. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I know you get all the mail. You ladies have a good Mother's Day. Bye, sweetness. <laughs> See you later, young girl. <laughs> All right, Deacon. All right, Ola. Bye, old man. Bye, you wickedy witch of the West. <laughs> Bye, sugar. Well, we best be to leaving now. We just stop by to see if you made it home, okay? Because y'all walked. I don't know why y'all walked home anyway. I got plenty of room in my station wagon. Girl, you know I gotta get everything all toned up. Cause you know I done went and got myself a two-piece. Girl from KFC? Girl, no. <laughs> I went and got myself a, a Keenis for the beach. Yeah, the Brazil and the Bloomers. Hello. Welcome to my secret. Well, the secret is out. And we're so glad that you're here. How can I help you? I am looking for one of them two pieces. Oh, we have some new two pieces in. Does it matter what color? Surprise. I'll be right back. Okay. new they just came in how about this no child i'm talking about the the, the bikinis what you wear to the beach bikinis mm -hmm. yes ma'am i'll be right back okay You mean like this? <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. Ah, <laughs> uh, ah, uh, you sure? Oh yeah, baby, I'm sure. You want to try this on? Yes, ma'am, I will. Okay, follow me. Okay. Come on out when you're ready. Whoa! <laughs> While I was out there celebrating on my porch, May May was having the experience of her life. She then went down there and found herself a new man, and all he's selling her is a bunch of wolf tickets. Hey, man, give me everything you need. Come on, man. That's the ball, James. Babe, I'm tired. Hey, 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 didn't you get paid today? Man, I need the money so I can go pay for this extra mic, man, so I can finish that song. <sighs> yeah, but you did say that you know someone who knows P. Daddy, right? <laughs> yeah, I do. And as soon as I get picked up, we're going to get paid. We're going to get stupid rich. Come on now. Did you know? You know rent is due. It's overdue. And we will get evicted at the end of this week. Don't act like that now. 
Hey, I got this. Why? All right. Ball. Look, Grandma, why are you eating mashed potatoes for breakfast? Child, this ain't no mashed potatoes. This is honey. It's grits that stick to your bones. You should try some. No, my bones are just fine. Well, it ain't a suggestion. Now open up. Come on. Come on, open up. There you go. Ooh, Grandma. Those are good. Let me get some more. Ah, ah. You better go get your own. What about my bones? It look like your bones gonna be just fine. <laughs> oh, Grandma, I'm gonna go to the basketball court and play with some of my friends. Well, I guess so. All right, now, you be careful. I'll be fine. All right, now. Now, look at this child. Another lesson she should have learned from her mom. Leaving her plate behind. I ain't her mate. And beautiful and healthy, Miss Tulip. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. And you too, Mr. Zell. Mm -hmm. Give you a little bit more water over here. Give me a little dry area. But you're still looking beautiful. Nice and healthy. Hey, Grandma. Ah, girl! Don't you scare me like that. Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry. Well, who are you talking to? I'm talking to Mr. Zelia and Miss Tula. Ain't they beautiful? Why are you talking to them? 
Don't they have the wind and the rain and the earthworm to talk to? Well, the earthworm couldn't talk because he was busy feasting on your pants. Grandma, this is a style. Girl, that ain't no style. Sit down and help me snap these peas. And where you been all day? Oh, I've been doing what you've been doing. Spending time with the flowers and the rain. Girl, don't you sass me. You ain't been around here long enough. You don't know nobody to be gone all day. Don't let me take your freedom away. You hear me? Get some of these peas. Here. How do I do this? You take them and you snap the ends off. Just like that. I just start in here? What you throwing my peas away for? You gotta snap the ends and put my peas back in there. Don't you pick that up. I'm thirsty. Uh-uh, put my cup down. You better go in the house and get your own Come cup. on, please. No, baby, uh-uh. Gosh, put never share anything. Down. Well, it's been about two weeks, and me and Nettie are getting along just fine. But to be honest with you, it kind of make me a little nervous. Because you know when things are too good to be true, no, most of the time it is. I'm laughing at this character. I can't turn to a to my sweat. I can't believe I'm having to go back home after all these years. Yeah, I'm going to make it up to you, babe. Watch. We're going to be in the mansion. You're going to have maids and chauffeurs and all that. Oh, Sharky. <laughs> oh, Sharky! My fault. I, I told you, man, them chicken sandwiches is on point, man. Now, let me tell you about my mama. She's old school, and she does not play. She says things once, and that's it. Once she hit my uncle upside the head with a flower pot because he was talking crazy to her. Yeah. So remember, mind your manners with her. Please, thank you. Yes, ma'am. Why are we slowing down? Oh, man, out of gas. Seems to me you have enough to fill the tank up. Oh, real funny. Catch this. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Your hands up. Oh. Let me see that. Now look here, baby. I'm only gonna show you this one time. So pay attention, cause all your jeans ain't damaged. Didn't your mom ever teach you how to make cornbread? <laughs> Mama was always too busy to teach me how to cook. Doing what? She was always too busy with her boyfriends. Well, I be done. That girl is more like her Aunt Geraldine than I thought. Now, Geraldine, that's your granddaddy's twin sister. Mm-hmm, that girl will have men in and out her life like hot butter on corn. <laughs> she had Walter down there fighting some wide-haired Negro until I came along and put a stop to it. She just couldn't help herself. Go look for a gas station. What should I do if somebody comes by? Hey, just give them one of the flocks I threw at you. <laughs> nah, I'll be all right though. Just lock the doors up. Okay, baby. Please hurry. I will. will. I'm 
understand. That's the sense ain't over. I can't you hear you. Work for your dreams. So let me plot and over people with the dope what schemes. And just remember what you think. Wait. I need some help. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. I'm sorry. I I'm out of gas. Lady, you're in luck. I just happen to have a gas container in the car. I'll go get it. Time she continues to fight And from a brother on the corner They say college is free I know you hate to go to school But so much more you can be Down on the rap or drop a man To get your band Forget the rubber band But she won't resent you But can't hear for real You're all set. So you think I can call you sometime? You better not. But thank you for the gas. Yeah. That's what's up. Talk to How did you get the car started? Well, when you left, God sent an angel with some gas. Yeah, I got your angel. I bet. So the angel came through. The angel tell you what time our record deal coming through. But I'm going to tell you like I tried to tell your mom. You better watch who you have babies with because them jeans are strong. You been a reached in that bag and pulled out some cock out of child. I'm talking about eyes cock like a pistol. <laughs> <laughs> or better yet, you been a pull one out that you can only take out during Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma, you're crazy. I, I, I mean in a funny way though. Girl, you better. Cause you see I still got this wooden spoon in my hand. Girl, I used to take that wooden spoon and use it on your mama and your auntie. Girl, I been a flung that spoon before they knew it. They look up, Pah! girl, I was like the original Karate Kid on them. Girl, I was, wah, wah, wah. Girl, I was both league teacher. Grandma, <laughs> are you okay? Woo, child. Let me go sit down somewhere. And over here acting a fool. Come on here. Hmm. My daughter May May always thinks she know what to do. She had to get her life in control. And that's why she left for the city. <laughs> now, remember, be extra nice, because my mother is old school. And don't forget, we do not sleep together. Okay, I got it, baby. I got it. Grandma Ola may, may be a little crazy, but I know how to raise my children. See, your mama was raised right, too. She just chose her own path. Hold on, back, hold on. Hello? I'll be in there in a minute. I got to take this call. Yeah, this shark. What's up? Ah, you crazy, man. You crazy. Hey, I told you not to call me on this phone. I'll call you. What's up? <laughs> Girl, you stupid. Yeah. You all right? <laughs> I guess because you're nutty. <laughs> I'm home. What in St. Peter? 
why are you two staring at me like that? I want to laugh, too. I heard you all the way out in the yard. So you want to laugh, huh? Mm -hmm. Come on here. Let me show you something. There you go. I do look pretty, don't I, Mama? Well, actually, I'm waiting on you to laugh. Because you came in my house looking like a $5 cowgirl. And what the rest of that material to that skirt? Mama, is that the first thing you have to say to me after all these years? Sharky likes for me to dress like this. Who the heck is Sharky? Her new boyfriend. I think he's about 12. I see you haven't been here long enough for your grandma to get that mouth under control. Anyway, Sharky is 25 and Mama, he is all man. Woo! Oh, help me, Jesus! Grandma. Take me, Lord! Take grandma. me, Lord! Woo! You done? <laughs> now you done resulted from stealing men out of a cradle? Man, what is wrong with you? You are 35 years old. Mama. What can you possibly want with a man that young? Mama, don't call me May May. Call me Elizabeth. I don't want Sharky hearing you call me by that old country name. And anyway, Sharky loves me. He loves all of me. And that makes him man enough for me. God, you Call you what? May Elizabeth Johnson? Don't you come in my house telling me what I can call you. I named your old flicked behind. Now you want me to stop on a of some man named Shortcake? <laughs> I see you haven't changed much. I'm sorry, Mama. You done it right, I ain't changed. I'm on the Lord's side and he ain't changing. Neither am I. Man, what's going on up in here? It sounds like the club I was at the other day. Hey, baby. Uh -oh. I hey, miss baby. you. Oh, okay, okay. Didn't you just see him in the car? Come on, I want you to meet Mama. Mm -hmm. Sharky, this is Mama. Mama, this is Sharky. Nice to meet you, Mama. Nice to meet you. Tim, you got something to eat around here, man? Bro, it's hungry. It's been a long drive, man. I'm starving. Oh, baby, one thing Mama has around this house is food. I'll fix you something. Okay, okay. Good, good. good. Well, actually, I was getting ready to fix some fried chicken, some potato salad, some collard greens, and peach cobbler. But I'm all of a sudden in the mood for some seafood. I heard shark meat is pretty tasty. So, Mama, what brings you down here? Well, actually, I missed you, baby, so I thought I'd come down here and take you home. Take her home? Now look what you done done. Now why you want to come get this girl? What's wrong with you? The girl don't even know how to make cornbread, let alone collard greens and peach cobbler. You ain't teaching her nothing. Nettie May ain't going nowhere. Me and Nettie got things to do. She fine right where she is. She'll be back after she cooled down. I said she'll be back when she's cooled down. Now there she go, ruining this child's chance for a good life. <laughs> but my God, got a plan for Nettie Mae's life. And he got one for hers too. I can't believe she's doing this to me again. If it wasn't for her, Maybe my dad will be in my life. I just want to stay with my grandma. I know she loves me, and I know she can take care of me and knows the best for me. Well, if Nettie is not going home, then neither am I. Mm-hmm. Stand right here. What you mean you ain't going nowhere? Hey, old mama, you got some beer around here, man? Bruh needs to relax. That's Miss Ola to you. And where will you be staying, young man? Well, mama, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I mean, you have plenty of room here, and I figured we could just stay together for a while. Now, May May, 
Let me get this straight. You want to live in sin in my house with some fish out of pond named Shortcake? Who the heck is May May? Mama, why does everything have to be a sin with you? I mean, you just assuming that we're going to sleep together in the same room. We ain't? No, we're going to sleep in separate rooms like we always do. Now, I ain't running no mission house, nor a brothel. Mama, now what would Jesus do? I mean, you wanted me to be in church, and Sharky and I want to be in church, and we want to we wanna live right. We want to be saved, too. Girl, I ain't no fool. And Jesus would tell me, use my size 11 and a half and send somebody seven across in the air. Mama, we have nowhere else to go. Don't you tell me you got evicted again. Mama, it's not Sharky's fault. I just lost my job and, and we fell on hard times. How many times am I going to have to hear this story? You, my dog, you can stay here. But there's a little base motel down the street for your little friend. Mama, be nice. Sharky is, he's good with handiwork and you could use some help around this house. Hmm, I don't know about that. But I'ma tell you what, I'ma give y'all one chance. And it better not be no freaky deaky going on between the two of you. And I expect you at church every Sunday and Wednesday. Sunday and Wednesday? You heard me right, boy. And another thing. Get your feet off my table. All right. Come on, baby. I'm going to fix you something to eat. Mama, thank you. We're grateful, Mama. Sharky, tell Mama thank you. Yeah, thank you. Now you know there's two kinds of menses. The kind that run women, now those will be your shocks. And then you got the kind that prey on young women. And I don't mean praying that you do at church. But you ain't heard that from me. Like Ma'am, it, it wasn't even like that. Ma'am, I, I, I was... Pervert. Ma'am, I was... Come on, princess. Hey! You wanna play? Uh, not today. Okay. Probably one of those girls that breaks a nail as soon as she touches the basketball. I don't think so. Press the ball. I guess she showed you. Whatever. It's my turn. Oh, it's on. Uh, my turn. I'm still working on that shot. Let's go, guys. All right, let's go. Chop, chop. Let's go. Wait, one more shot. What's up, princess? How are you? Looking beautiful as usual. Working on that jump shot? Yeah, I still need a little more practice, though. Brandon, you're not being too hard on the girls, are you? <laughs> it's more like you were trying to keep up with Nettie. Oh, <laughs> this is the legendary Nettie, huh? So you got game. Oh, I guess. Ah, well, who's hungry? Uh, me too. <laughs> me. I'm Good, sorry. Let's go eat. Come on. You want to come? Oh, I can't. I got to go. My grandma's probably worried about me. Okay, bye. Okay. All right, bye. 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 Get that game together. <laughs> Start making some shots. Yeah, hit the shot. <laughs> Hey, Bill. Hop in. 
So what's in the bag? Just listen, I picked up for you. Hey, gosh. It's beautiful. You're welcome. I hope it fits. Oh, you all right, child? You had your grandma worry. I'm fine, grandma. And I've decided I'm staying, no matter what my mama says. And you're much older than she is, and she has listened to you. I, I could stay, right? Right? You ain't going nowhere. You gonna stay right here with me. Right here with me. I love the new dress. Thank you. Liz? Liz? Liz Johnson? Sweet. Oh my gosh, gosh. Swain, look at you. Mom. It has been years. Look at you. Oh, great. Oh. You look so good. Oh, wow. Looks like our land has been good to you. Oh, yes, it has. Girl, I cannot complain. Looks like you brought Helena with you. Yes. Have you seen Cedric lately? Cedric? No. Girl, he's changed so much. He looks good. Cedric is from my past. I've moved on to bigger and better things. Oh, well, um, let's go see this bigger and better thing. Sharky, this is Sue Ann, my friend from high school. Sue Ann, this is my man, Sharky. It's a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure's all mine, Sue Ann. This country is nice. Well, girl, let's talk, okay? Okay. I'm already in late, and I'm supposed to be in the choir. Okay. All right. Bye. Talk it's to good you to see you. This is just something I said we want to Oh, Dickie and they talk about your clothes now. <laughs> Talking about what they buy them clothes now, good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, oh. oh good morning. Oh, Praise God. God. Hallelujah. God is. Let's get to this word. Go! 
Christ. This young lady is getting ready to minister and let this song touch you in your heart. Amen. Just let go and let God. He'll never leave you, baby. Let go of that shock. Because Jesus is the only fish in the sea you need. Are you ready for God to bring about a dramatic change in your life? In the name of Jesus Christ, receive the Holy Spirit now. That day, May May gave her life to God. But sometimes, it takes a little more than words to change your life. You have to change the way you think. Use a little common sense, which my May May don't seem to have nowadays. Baby, I really missed you. I miss you too, Mama. You're so pretty, just like your Mama. And I really like that dress. Thanks. I want to have a lot of boyfriends just like you. Well, it's better to have just one. Sometimes it's just hard finding the right one. Mama, you'll find us the right one day. I got a Sharky. Sharky? Hey, you want to ride home in the car with us? Sure. Like I said, no common sense. Honey, do we have to listen to that music? We just left church. This is my car, uh, my music, and I know you ain't got a problem with that. I just thought we could do better, just like Pastor was saying. That's your problem. You always think you need to think about what you're going to be fixing me when you get back to the house. Did your grandma tell you we're having a shark, I mean, fish fry? Who ain't shark? We do, and I can't wait. Yes, she's in there changing into her house dress. Why do you care? Nisi, don't get sassy. Like Mama says, train up a child in a way that they should go, and when they're older, they will not depart from it. That's right. <laughs> You're still talking that religious bull. Sorry, Grandma. That's Miss Ola May to you. 
Well, Miss Old Mama, I raised myself and didn't do a bad job at it. Got a nice car, nice clothes, and nice ladies. Grandma! Grandma! Grandma, do you need help frying the fish? Sure, but first I gotta beat the fish to find its true flavors. Hand me that phone over there. Grandma! Where are you going? <laughs> mm. Mm. Is that my phone ringing? Oh, yes. Oh, that's what I say about these modern phones. It's a touch screen. I'm touching it. It ain't doing nothing. Oh, there we go. Hello? Hello, Mark? Hey. Round up the troops. We fixin' to have us a fish fry. Oh, Ola May, what's going on? Have you ever had shark meat? Child, no. Me neither, but I heard it tastes better than chicken. What you got going, Ola? Oh, nothing but a good old-fashioned fish fry. Oh, well, I'm on my way then. See you later. Hm. Take that phone. Take to look in the mirror and get out the car. Sometimes pepper can be a little too hot. Had to make sure I was just right. You look just right too. Good afternoon, ladies. Good afternoon. My name is Sharky. Afternoon. I'm Martha. Nice to meet you, Martha. These are my grandbabies, Salt. Salt. And Pepper. And Pepper. Where are old at? Old mama in there. Old mama. Got some company. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ain't nothing like some good old hot sauce on some fried fish. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think they're shocked by ready to fry. Now, there you go. Mm -hmm. May May, May May, come on in here and get this here cornbread. All right, take that and put that there on the table. Hey, May. Mm hmm. You know all that's missing is a good bottle of Moscato. Now, Ola May, girl, you know we shouldn't be drinking. Especially on Sunday. Oh, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did my ears hear me correctly? <laughs> Y'all talking about some wine now, huh? <laughs> You know ain't nothing wrong with no wine. You know the good Lord had wine at the last supper. <laughs> and if this gonna be our last, <laughs> I had the same thing. <laughs> well, let's get this fish fried started. Hey! Yeah. Hey! Right now. Now. Hold on, May May! May May! Come on up in here. Get us some uh, some of them cups and make sure they the red one. Yeah, go on and pour us some of that tea. Some sweet tea. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you sure look beautiful now, May May. Watch yourself deep. Oh, I'm just telling the truth. You know what the Bible say? Tell the truth. The truth shall set you free. <laughs> and I'm free as a bird. And my fist gonna set you free. Oh, watch out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, baby, very much now. She we she, she bless the wine now.
Now take your right hand, throw a hand in the sky. And if you feel like a feel, then you know that you fly to get back with it. Are you? What kind of dance is that? The potty dance. I gotta go. Where's the bathroom? Outside to the right. I'm laughing at these characters. Hey, where you going? To the room. I'm gonna hold you for a minute. I thought you and Liz were together. We just friends, man. I'm just helping my mom out the house, you know. Good with my hands. Grandma, grandma! What this child screaming about? Grandma, the shark is salty and ready to be fried. Wait a minute. Slow, slow, no, slow. No, no. Slow down now. What you talking now? What you saying? I walked out the hall to get salt at the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And Sharky and Salt was kissing. What? Wait a now, minute. I know he didn't put his liver Wait lips on my grandbaby. What did you say? What? Sharky was licking salt, and I don't mean the season. No, no, that's not entirely true, no. I snatched his eyeballs clean out his head. Oh, not my house! Not my Did I tell you the rules of the house? house? No, he I didn't, didn't do that to my grandma. No. You said I couldn't touch May May in your house. You didn't say nothing about nobody else in your house. Period. Whoa! Whoa. Come Whoa. On now. You better Get out of me! Give it at me! Not in my house! That girl going to jail. All the girls, calm down now. Get him, get him. 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 Jesus. Mm, mm, mm. God rest his soul if he did. Mm. I think she killed him. I'd have beat him again. He all right. And I'm just going to blow it on him. Let the anointing touch him, Lord. Baptize. And get out of here! Boy, you look I'm a Christian woman. Woo! I said get up out of here! I said go! Hey, are you okay? It's alright, baby. <laughs> You're gonna be all right. Oh, honey. It's, right. it's gonna be all right. Yes, it is. You just gonna have to trust in the good Lord. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma now, come on, pull yourself together. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. I'm sorry. I didn't do anything. He just came out of nowhere. I didn't. We know. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's all right. You're gonna be all right, Liz. Oh, you're gonna be all right. I'm gonna be just fine. I just need to be alone. You see, sometimes when you're feeling helpless and you don't know which way to turn, always go to your prayer closet. I guess May May did learn something after all these years. Lord, I thank you for not allowing me to kill Sharky today. Lord, I need your strength because I can't take this anymore. I keep making the wrong choices with men and looking for love in all the wrong places. I know that your love is all I need. Please help me to be strong and to make the right decisions when it comes to being a good mother to daddy. Because Lord, I love you so much. And thank you for my mother training me in the right way. And Lord, 
I may not be deserving of the love that I search for, but Daddy needs a father. Thank you, Lord. Amen. should have seen grandma. She threw that frying pan on her sharky <laughs> and knocked him right out. No, she didn't. <laughs> she sure did. And Martha, Miss Martha, she poured some of that Moscato, something like that. <laughs> Woke him right up. <laughs> Where is he at now? Oh, he's long gone. Daddy rolled up in his Yukon, nearly hit him. Daddy? What do you mean, Daddy? Mama, I've been trying to tell you ever since you came home. But you've been too busy with that shark. We've been spending a lot of time getting to know each other. Why are you being so nice to me? Well, uh, that's what I wanted to talk with you about. Don't freak out on me. Father? My, my father? Sometimes in life. Wait, what do you mean, my father? I mean, I mean, where have you been all my life? When I was with your mother, I loved her. But I didn't treat her right. And when you came around, I didn't, I didn't know how to handle it. I, I was young, dumb bad decision, but I've changed, and I have been praying for the opportunity to, to make things right with you and your mom, and when you walked into Brandy's Hot Dogs, <laughs> that was a miracle. I know this is a lot to take in, but you have time, because I'm not going anywhere. I want to take as much time as I can to, to get to know you. He's even giving me money to help Grandma take care of me. I was afraid to tell Grandma because she might have told you. And then you would try to take me away again. How could you keep this from me? I just didn't tell you because I didn't want him to hurt you the way he hurt me. Mama, but he's changed. He has a really good job. A nice car. You want to see him? No. Not right now. Too late. Hello, Lizzie. No one has called me that since, well, a long time. What are you doing here? Well, a couple people from the church invited me, including Sue Ann and my little niece, so. I take that as a sign. It's time to let go of the past and face the present. The room hasn't changed at all in about 14 years. Apparently not much has changed around here, except you. I can't take the credit. I give God the glory. Holy Spirit came in my life a few years ago and I am a changed man. That's what I hear. I love that beautiful girl you gave me. I thank God every day for her. And I was hoping that, that you'd give me the opportunity to show you how, how grateful I am by making an honest man out of me one day. I love you, Lizzie. I always have. I'm sorry for her. Everybody, 
Now, I done told y'all dinner ready. Y'all come on here. Let's get this fish fry started. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Yes. <laughs> See, I told y'all God was going to do it. Didn't I tell you he was going to come through for me? Hey, my, my, my. Look like Nettie finally got the family she always wanted. After meeting Cedric, I actually think he's a decent young man. Look like May May got a little common sense after all. Hey, my, my. But I think it's going to take a little more than prayer to get Sue Ellen and Deacon Jesse to get along. I reckon we gonna need a delivery service for that. Somebody make a circle around him. I'm telling you, he ain't nothing but leg, legs and head. He need to have his mind on the Lord. Say that one more time, I'm telling you, he ain't nothing but lead and heads. <laughs> legs and heads. <laughs> legs. Did I go? Yes, you I made me skip my line because yeah. she missed hers. I'm telling you, he ain't nothing but lead and head. <laughs> what did I say? Lead. Lead. <laughs> he ain't nothing but head and legs. That's what I say. <laughs> yeah, Martha said, Mama was Martha always said, too busy uh, to teach me how to dug eat. <laughs> okay, so. yeah. Now, Sue Ellen, you need to just adjust your hearing aid. I didn't say date, I said plate. See, I had gotten hungry, so I fried up some calf fish and okra. Oh, see, the spirit told me that you have been sneaking around with Dick and Jesse, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Deacon Jesse, <laughs> look at your man. Now look at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. When Jesus walked. Oh, when he walked. When Jesus walked. Jesus yeah, watch my sin go away. Oh, yeah. Oh, happy day. Oh, happy day. When Jesus walked. Oh, when he walked. When Jesus walked. He washed every one of my Every one of my sins away. And he can do the same thing for you.
See, I told y'all God was going to do it. Didn't I tell you he was going to come through for me? Hey, hey, my, my, my. Look like Nettie finally got the family she always wanted. After meeting Cedric, I actually think he's a decent young man. Look like May May got a little common sense after all. Hey, my, my. But I think it's going to take a little more than prayer to get Sue Ellen and Deacon Jesse to get along. I reckon we're going to need a delivery service for that. Somebody make a circle around them. I'm telling you, he ain't nothing but leg, legs and head. He need to have his mind on the Lord. I'm telling you, he ain't nothing but lead and heads. <laughs> legs. Did I go? Yes, you may skip my line because yeah, yeah. she missed hers. I'm telling you, he ain't nothing but lead and head. <laughs> what did I say? Leg. <laughs> he ain't nothing but head and legs. That's what I say. <laughs> Yeah, Martha said, Mama was Martha always too busy uh, to teach me how to duggy. <laughs> okay, so. Now, Sue Ella, you need to just adjust your hearing aid. I didn't say date, I said plate. See, I had gotten hungry, so I fried up some calf fries and okra. See, the spirit told me that you have been sneaking around with Dickie and Jesse, haven't you?